ultimate bay, or you just play for retakes. Retro has dashed his way in. There's a utility that sort of bought them some time. Now NRG is starting to rotate over. Got to keep an eye on the Killjoy on Randy Savage there across the middle of the map. He can be, to be a serious Ooh. problem if he's able to pull it off, but Shakes is not going to have any of that here early on in the opening moments of this map. The spike has gone down, and it's a five on four here. This can easily go either way. Yeah, the advantage though for energy because uh, Renegades just don't have that control that that mid flank has been caught, but they do now have defense spawn control. Retro with a couple of big kills there in the back. Halls is going to give them Jeez. something, but Infinite charging through with the classic with no fear at all is lighting up the scoreboard, but can he get the quad kill to finish it off? It's the big question and the answer to that is a resounding no bot and strike. And so energy had to force him to respect him. Shanks, yeah, Shanks, he didn't get smoked. There's the smoke, but it was too late, man. He's already able to get the pick on to win some. Retro's gonna trade it out as Dabs drops as he tries to work his way further and further up deep into the belly of the beast into the defending side spawn. Bergy's gonna get the spike down as you see members of energy have by and large put themselves together back around uh, heaven. Now they're gonna swing. Retro gets taken out of you. That's a big pick as energy tries to fight back for site control. That's a great grenade Soms just put down. Shanks will use it to bait him out for the shot, and now Energy have a great retake ahead of them, it seems. See, our NR, our RNG, excuse me, has a member around the flank. They're able to disrupt it through, but he gets taken out. It was just one on the side of Renegades, and they... And they... As, yep, Shanks has one. The op battle goes in favor of Retro early on as Shanks gets taken out. Tight. The spike hasn't made it down yet. There's that lockdown that could potentially prove to be a wrinkle in Renegade's plan. Winston trying to hold things down as he tries to go aggressive into the defending spawns. Gonna take out the turret, push them back further and further, and buy them more time. As uh oh. This, oh no. Winston gets caught, and I don't. Yo, no. Okay, Randy Savage and Retro were able to get one apiece. Samus worked his way onto the site, but CP2 with the Operator is able to take care of things. Shanks goes up, he's able to get one and spotted plenty of members that were left on the side of Renegades. Has a good idea of where they're gonna be coming in from. There's a second not able to connect. The Operator proves to be too damn good there. Sam still has a chance to make this happen. They got it to half the roll of Thunder stops and he's not able to get the kills. Renegades hold strong. Side, it looks like the spike's gonna go down. They've got somebody watching the flank here. I like the post plant setups from Renegades. And the thing is, none of that Killjoy utility really accomplished much. Like, it didn't really do a lot of chip damage, it didn't really slow down the attack. And now, the great paranoia, great op from Retro, and Renegades are absolutely tearing Energy's retake apart before it can really even get started. Yeah, you kind of wonder at this point in a 5v3, do you save a little bit now that? <laughs> Yeah, things wow. fell apart. Things fell apart real fast. A flawless round for Renegades. Now the Rolling Thunder can have its maximum impact if it goes underneath head in position as Winsome goes in with the Showstopper. Oh no, Winsome isn't even able to pull it off. As Infinite's able to take care of him, EU gets in on the action as well. As another one drops, Sam, oh my gosh, Retro with the Operator lining him up. There's the Rolling Thunder that he called. Randy Savage is able to get one as Retro dashes across the sky to try to stay alive. Randy Savage cleans ones up as Retro still has the Operator and is still proving to be a nuisance. It's just Daps that's left here. He tries to pull off a little something to keep Renegades on the back spike foot planted. and guessing with that big teleport, but the spike is gonna go down. This is a very difficult situation for Daps. Now, remaining. it's possible no that pick is certainly gonna help. It's gonna drop things down to a 1v1 Blinded. here. There's no ultimate to keep in mind. Oh, we heard that. Slowly swings around now. He certainly knows where he's coming from. Daps not able to land the shot. CP2 wins the 1v1. Renegades win. NRG in base. Energy handled that well, though. They knew that they could push a little bit into A Heaven because yep. the lockdown didn't reach all the way out. And so they were able to, you know, combat Retro. And now they actually have a mana advantage. But Winsome has a great little spot here. But it seems like EU is aware of it being possible. And now the counter lockdown comes into play. Oh, Winsome. I don't think I don't think EU knows exactly where he is. Winsome patient. Winsome gets it. Winsome takes him out. Randy Savage is able to get one as well. It did get traded out. Nobody was detained as the lockdown expires. It's just going to be a straight-up 2v2 for the site, and the spike has gone down as well. Still a little bit of CC as Daps gets taken out. It's just Sam. He's got 78 health and a little bit of armor to work with, able to take care of the initial aggression from Winsome, and it's just going to drop things down to 1v1. Sam gets it, but is he going to have enough for the defuse? It got to halfway, and he oh. gets it. NRG, steal it away. Oh, my goodness. Deep Daps is sitting in a perfect spot, and oh, this could prove to be disaster. He gets spotted. He's going to be forced to back up. They challenge him at the exact same time, and Daps wisely continues to buy time, continues to swing away, but he gets paranoia just at the wrong time. 
for him as Retro is able to take care of one. You heard the Rolling Thunder has been used. NRG is able to do it. They've been able to pick them apart. Rene Renegade, excuse me, is just down to two members left. The spike goes down. He gets taken out, but it's just Randy Savage. He only has 37 health left. It's going to be Killjoy up against Killjoy. And Randy Savage has the bead right now, but he doesn't know. He doesn't realize that he is alone right now. Dude, this has been a roller coaster ride of a round. You know, first off, that's a great slowing down the ropes attack, but then the counter paranoia opens up a heaven. Left. Then EU comes in for energy. Great use of the flashes there on the breach to retake a heaven and give themselves a fighting chance. But now it all comes down to this 1v1. Randy Savage with low HP. He's able to get into the site and plant. He's going to put the turret up as well to cover a heaven. Alarm bot to cover elbow, so he makes sure that his angles are covered. But it's still going to come down to the gunfight, and that is where he's favored. But, oh, he's got the lockdown, too. Oh, you wonder if he may have used that just a bit too early. But we'll see how it plays out. You heard the turret was taken out. Randy Savage just buying himself time. He still right, has the nanoswarms. He's just got so much room to work with here, but he has to play this perfectly because he only has 37 health left. You see that he's holding things off, trying to play around that back angle. The alarm bot has been taken out, and that's going to give away his position. He doesn't win the duel. Infinite holds fast. They're going to get the defuse. NRG take away the last couple of rounds at half to keep things competitive at halftime. NRG looking to hit B. In a little bit of what Retro had done time and time again, but Retro seems to be fending it off much better than his opponents did. The classic shots take care of Shanks. He spots two more, not able to get another one. Dabs gets two. NRG just down to one, and Renegades is able to fend off the initial on. The Renegades defense is placed. Oh, I love this aggressive look from NRG. If they're able to get a couple of picks here, that's going to block off the rotation. Winsom is taken out early on as Shanks continues to go aggressive. CP2 is able to take him out, but he gets traded right back out. Renegades is just down to three members left, but they're continuing to drop on, on both Black sides, really. Now it's NRG who's just down to one. Oh. They've got him really bunched in here. They know exactly where he is. Sam's just down to 37 health left. He was able to get one with the paint cans, but they do it. And because of that, they're able to get a pick onto yep. NRG early on. Left A vulnerable though, and you can see that energy were looking to take control of it in response, which was a good thought, but Randy Savage has gotten back into place to get a frag. He does oh. get traded back with Som's paint shells, and this gives Som full control of A site. He's got the showstopper and the boom bot still in his possession. He's basically got full utility, but the problem is the spike is still pretty far away. It's still in middle, but that alt will get it right where it needs to be inside the side itself. But look at the timing for Winsome, as you said, that's brilliant. Oh, it, was, it was bloody brilliant, but Sam was able to take him out, but that buys time. Sam's going to be able to get the spike down. And RNG starting to now rotate, rotate their way over. We'll see if Renegades is able to retake this. They've got the numbers advantage. And they're going to use, they're going to invest some ultimates there to get an idea of where the opposing members are. Keep in mind, NRG has two ultimates to work with. They have the lockdown, they have the show stop. They're choosing not to use it quite yet, but why do you need that when you've got Infinite anchoring across the uh -oh. front of the site? He's, he's certainly got plenty to work with as well. Song gets taken out. It's just one left retro drops. Infinite continues to hold things at. This they could roll back. Uh, this is sitting pretty for energy right now. And this is, is something that you see at a, at a high level with relative consistency is teams on the defending side understanding where their strengths are. I'll continue that in a moment. When some able to get one, has an idea of where another one is. Going to blast his way up. Not get anything going quite yet, but Love oh my it. gosh, he turns around and finds him like sitting ducks. He's able to get two, but NRG responds. They're just down to one, however. Shanks is the last member standing. He's got the blade storm to work with. But he's in a Enemy difficult kill. situation, able to take care of Randy Savage. But the Ten problem is, it's left. not just the two members of Renegades, it's the clock that's going against him as well. CP2 cleans him up. Renegades reach match. That floor completely covered and still not lockdown. really have control because of Heaven. Keep an eye on that Five lockdown. Planted. As you said, that could prove to be a problem. The thing is, for Renegades, they had, they're in a really good spot for Dust. They've gotten their way into Heaven. They're going to be working their way around into the back of the site shanks is going to drop his retro is able to get two nrg just down to three members left to keep this map alive they have control of the oh, site God. as retro sweeps his way forward there's a rolling thunder but oh retro retro is able to get into the back of the site and he gets one he's tapping it try to buy some time not able to get the second one it drops down to a 1v2 in favor of nrg in, in favor of nrg excuse me bergy drops NRG wow. pull it off it looked like it could have been disaster but they man they're just basically sitting here in Vince, 
This is so great for Renegades, bro, especially because they have the lockdown in Rolling Thunder. Oh, Som. my. Som with the showstoppers getting so much space. He's just buying so much time, but if he's not careful, he's gonna get caught with his pants down. That's exactly what happens. Randy Savage is able to take care of him. There's the lockdown that we talked about at the beginning of the round. It's gonna be a straight up 4v4, but they're trying. NRG is to get onto the site. The spike has gone down and they're forced to back up. Now, the interesting thing is it looks like they're gonna try to rotate up around towards mid. If they move quickly enough, they're gonna be able to pull something off here, but the flank has to show up and it has to show up now. Randy Savage is already on the defuse. The resources aren't gonna get there in time. NRG doesn't pull it off. They don't make it happen. Renegade steal. Happened over at Hookah. They're just going to pull out and they're going to work their way back over towards A. RNG is going to rotate back through. The problem is they're a bit one dimensional in their, in their push here. They were going to be able to come in from that side. And yes, they have pipes to work with and they're going to have some heaven to work with as well. But when you're on a pistol round like that, just how much damage can you really do from up there? Oh my, that drone was able to get a lot of space for Winsome to play off of, but Shank still gets the frag regardless. Randy Savage though at least able to trade. Smoke up on short A, blocking the vision of the two people trying to defend the spike from being planted. Another smoke goes out on the spike itself for the defuse. Is it gonna pull off? It looks like it just might. The shot guard comes in though at just the right time, and that pounces with the pistol. It's here at showers, but oh, that grenade could be so money on the damage it could maybe inflict. It doesn't actually do as much as I thought it would, but still, this is looking pretty tough on Renegades, but they are able to drone out here. Oh, the Cypher. The Cypher. Oh, he had a chance, but it looks like he got paranoid. Randy Savage gets taken out. NRG continues to hold control of the map. That was like their, their one chance at really cracking this bad boy wide open, and it falls apart. They are all the, all the resources of Renegades are still left in that showers area. Now they're going to slowly start to creep their way out, but they're just one walking into remaining. a combat. They're, they're sitting ducks here. Energy knew exactly. I don't know if it's that or if they kind of got forced to, right? That counter smoke one way on the double stack really slowed down any type of short A, and now the cage is going to slow down Shanks, but he's trying to force his way through with his own smoke. Oh. Like, it's caught by Retro. Retro went right. That's devastating. I mean, he could have stolen his lunch money. He was all the way in his back pocket. He's able to get that kill. Meanwhile, the spike is making its way over onto that B site. CP2 is able to get one. You hear the showstopper has been used to try to push things away, but Son manages to avoid the damage. Now, he's going to be the one playing aggressively as they try to get onto the site. 13 seconds left. That this is the problem standing. with playing slow here is that you just you have to commit to something. I'm doing here uses a showstopper early on and it just buys space. Look at how much they have to respect you haul They have to give it up and then they get the kill into heaven as well. That's just very well played by some. Retro once again on the flank. This time not going to be nearly as effective as he gets taken out. Renegade's just down to three members left. Daps trying to stay alive, but the spike did go down. Now Renegades is forced to fight for this region. When some gets one, EU trades it out. Just gonna drop things down to two members left for Renegades here. The slight personnel advantage for energy. Furthermore, you see that the Sova has the Hunter series, so he can play off the site, and as soon as the defuse goes down, they can try to pull that off. We'll see if they avail themselves from that. They also have the lockdown to work with standing. if things get dicey, and that's exactly what's happened. It's just dabs here. In a 1v2, he's oh gonna get my. taken out. Renegades with an impressive retake dust. Yeah, wow, that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now it's going to be a scramble for energy with kind of like a half by trying to get aggressive at Hookah, and they are going to get greeted by a couple of peaks, and they're going to capitalize. Well, yeah, that certainly helps. You see, Sam is very annoyed. They have to back off the aggression out of Renegades through the teleporter, gets them another pick. But Sam. They're just really trying to be an impenetrable wall here as they try to keep things at bay. He's got a little bit of help to him there. They know that the jet is locked up in that teleporter and doesn't have a ton of options. So Sam can really just kind of wait this one out and really remove him from the play. CP2 is able to get one, but it trades out. Again, he's able to get through the teleporter. Sam has to back off and give up who could control. Retro in a 1v2 has the blade storm, has a decent idea of where players might be. Nothing going on there quite yet. But again, NRG can play this so patiently, no freaking way! Retro's able to get one, now he's gonna pop the blade, goes and aggressively goes up, oh. but Som rips him from the skies with the 3k! Taken back for Tuka, so now left. it looks like this is what they want to commit to. Once again, they're short this, on time. Look at this though from Shanks. He's got such amazing position in defensive spawn, they have no idea. He's like the checkmate. 
coming in from behind. Oh, this might prove to be disastrous. He's mad, dude. He's managed to get his way all the way back. He's going to show up right behind them. Left. Winsome's going to use the Last showstopper. Sam, dash drop. One there's Shanks remaining. with the kill. It's going to drop down to a 1v1, but there's not enough time. Shanks has to get the spike down. He has to do it very quickly. He gets it down. Now it drops down to a 1v1. He spots him, but the operator from CP2 is just too damn good. Gates here. Make the comeback against NRG. Holy aggression from NRG. They full send down B long, and it's just going to be chaos around the fountain. Two members of Renegades have already dropped. Winsome trying to hold things down. He's got a Spectre to work with, but he's going to get backed off, and NRG's just hunting him down. They're just chasing him across the map. Renegades is going to be able to work their way through market and get onto the A site. The problem with something like this, Dust, is that NRG are forced to be relatively one-dimensional here. And they also had three players on very low health, uh, and the fact that they are so vulnerable could really be a problem. They actually are doubling back to B. Do they think it was a B plant? Now they're coming back through. Okay. Maybe they were trying to find weapons. Or maybe they thought they wouldn't have time? I think they were trying to find weapons. Either way, we'll see how this one pans out. Renegade just down to two. But as you said, NRG is, has very little health to work with Winsome. Trying to work his way around. He's going to get spotted. You have started the defuse. Winsome's able to get one. It's just down to Winsome here. One, two, three, baby! He gets an ace! Holy Toledo! Renegades pulls him apart! And the, and the, the best part about all this is it's a close map. It's so it's six to see oh! it go the other way. Winsome continues to hold the aggression. Flies his way into Infinite's face. Daps trades it out, but the damage was done. NRG's just down to three members left as Renegades has worked their way onto the A site. Som, keeping things at bay, at least for now, keeping things close and interesting, but U-Haul control has been lost, and now they're just gonna telly out. It's wow. just like, they're just jerking him across the map, pulling him back and forth. They have, and all Randy's they can already do is here. respond. Oh, they don't check? Oh, they do, okay. Doesn't remaining. matter, he still gets the kill anyway, and he knows the last one's in the portal. EU will get the Spot trade, planted. but now he's in a tough one versus two, and they know exactly where he is. Area. Unbelievable. These last two rounds have been absolutely insane. EU here. He, oh man, he's gonna get paranoia. There's that's that's brutal. You hate to see that. But the rotation's already here from energy. And they have the one way up on double stack. One, I love the smokes the way they're kind of off wow. the ears of the site. My gosh, Winsome does it no. again! He's got two Shanks takes him out, but he was able to get two along the way. Shanks with the blade swarm continuing to work his way around. He realizes, oh no, uh -oh. they tellied out, but the spike was left. That was the most important part of the plan. And it's nowhere near them. Now they're gonna have to rotate shots. back over. Just how long seconds left. can Randy Savage stay alive? Now he's gonna drop. It's gonna be a 2v2 here. We do enemy have enemy. the Hunter Siri. One Last drops EU with three on the round of three. Get out but of energy way. did hold on, and that's a big victory. There's another blade storm using here. The operator shot comes through. Retro takes care of Shanks. Som trades it back out. You saw the paranoia come through as well as Daps gets another one. Four ultimates still available for NRG, and they have an idea of, or at least one player is, because of the Roomba from Som. Yep, Som still able to maintain this U Haul control. Drone comes out here for energy to start getting some information. Uh, on where these players are positioned over towards short they will spot one in the corner they know that a second's there as well that will prompt the showstopper to come oh. out but cp2 shuts it down with the headshot it puts it back into a three versus three and they might be able to get it all of their own with their cypher but no eu the hunter's fury the two for one outstanding in a, in a 1v2 uh but health, the bro. problem here is nrg has more people alive than he has health yeah, <laughs> that that was indeed a uh, uh, true. Pro yeah, that gets them all the space they need. But now they still have to play out the five on five retake. And Som with the wall spam from back calls to retro is going to be maybe what they need to start breaking this site back open. And the drone will come out as well. Dust, this one is going to be absolutely bonkers. It's still a 5v4 and the spike has gone down. There's just going to be carnage all over the place. They swing as the paranoia comes through. Randy Savage not spotting anyone along the elbow. Shanks is able to get one, but they get traded back out. Som is able to get in on the action as well as he swings around behind him. Gets three. Give him four. NRG hold fast. Pixie shoulder piece, excuse me. Um, and manages to stay alive, but they get some info. You see yep. the recon ball has been used as well. Looks like they want to go to B. Yeah, and energy knows though, and they have plenty of players in position. They're already looking to rotate. They get the smoke help from, um, you know, their omen that's playing towards U-Haul. Here comes support now from Som. 
This is going to be tough for Renegades. They're already down a player as well. They just don't have a ton of options. Infinite gets one. He is getting, he does get traded out. But Renegades is down to two members and a sliver of health on Winsome. And, and Shanks just is able to take care of him. It's going to be a 2v4. Renegades just hasn't been able to get anything going for the last couple of rounds, Dust. And NRG are at match point. This is when you're going to start getting critique now for being one to do that just fine. So they're confident in what they've decided on. And now they will travel over. It's going to be on Bergy to keep this one going. Uh, Daps, that's not how you fake board. <laughs> mistakes were made. We'll see if there are <laughs> any more matter. mistakes in the round. You see them start to go aggressively. The drone is going to be the tip of the spear as they try to get onto the site. Keep in mind, the Daps is very weak, so this is certainly a winnable situation for Bird. One There's a shot. Yep, Whoa! one. What a flick onto Daps. That's the third on the round for him. Drop things down to a 1v1. Far more feasible, far more doable, but... If he doesn't continue to freaking rotate around, he's not going to get a chance. They're going to meet each other in the smoke, and EU holds take, is able to take care of him. Excuse me, I lost my words in the chaos uh -oh. of that 1v1. Is he going to get the defuse? Yes, he is. And if look, the one difference is you're actually seeing a lot of aggression, a lot of more of a forward posturing from NRG across the middle of the map. Sure. Meanwhile, the, the EU is still over by A. He still hit the traditional dart that we see, but they're starting to see them creep up towards the middle of the map. And that's a problem because Renegades is expecting it. It looks like it's looking to be a flawless round for Renegades as they have full control. There it is. They're going to get... I'll have a, a tricky spot. We try to flank all the way around. If we do, we're going to be met by tripwires or do we just go in traditionally retro? Mm. Pulls this way back out. It's still a straight up 5v5. The only thing I don't like about this is Renegades have nothing but middle. They don't have C garage control. They don't have any of the links. So I think this makes it really difficult to hold off the retake. Careful now. We'll see if they're able to pull this off here. This is, a, you know, you, you see a set piece like this relatively often where you just try to get it down and beat and then it's just chaos that ensues across the middle of the map because of things like that, right? It's just one doorway through which everyone's trying to fight through Renegades. It's just picking NRG apart. It's just down to EU. He was able to take care of Winsome, but a really good round out of Renegades where they're able to, in the bonus, take another round away from NRG. Yeah, I mean, NRG creeping up, being slowed down a bit by the Nano Swarm. But now here they come. Oh, infinite on the side. The paranoia even through it. He's able to get one, but Randy Savage trades it back out. A 4v4 here. Make that a 4v3. As CP2 gets another one, you hear the spike begin to go down. The dart's going to give away his position. And now he's going to get back up and taken out. It's dropping down to a 2v2. Renegades has uh, the Hunter's... Or 3v2, excuse me. They have the Hunter's and they have the Blade Storm. But what they don't have is the spike. The, the spike. And that's insanely important in a situation like this. The Hunter's Fury is able <laughs> to cause enough of a ruckus for Retro to get in with Bring that C window with the smoke and the paint shells onto Infinite, who will be able to weather that storm. He didn't really even take any damage there. In the meantime, Energy gets aggressive on A side and gets a pick on Serenity Savage, and he gets the info when he's up against. He's able to get a kill before the showstopper finishes him off. That's brilliant from EU. It sets Energy up so well to retake this A site. Or maybe even just hold it plain. Well, it's a, it was a mad dash to the site. Meanwhile, Daps was just a little bit behind Retro, and it was perfect. He got the timing right, was able to get the kill on the flank. That's no longer a problem. As Renegades fall apart, NRG again. They put the cage of smoke down. They're going to go for it. Oh, the last time we saw a play like this out of uh, Renegades, it, it worked out well, uh, but it was chaotic down to the wire, and it looks like that's exactly what we're in for here, as Infinite was just trying to free fire around the box. He was able to get one, but eventually dropped. Sam has made his way in, and Renegades just down to three members left. They're going to put up the wall to deny any bit of information so they can try to stick the defuse, but it wow. goes down. It doesn't matter. Renegades take one away from NRG. To actually go all the way uh -oh. across, or just stick it in B. They stick it in B. The old, the uh, omen old, excuse me, from the shadows was used all the way over to A. Now the problem yep. is, is, is that Renegades is going to be pushed in from two fronts. True, but this is a great angle from Retro. Will they check it? Indeed, they do. But he gets the kill anyway. Oh, Finds retro. the follow up on Shanks, and now it's all on Daps. Oh, Retro, freaking heroic play there to handle both of that, knowing that the Blade Storm was there. Such a good play from him. Daps not able to pull that off. It went from looking really good for NRG to really bad. In Spike That's plan. the last time we saw a situation like this. Som was able to get a big kick, kick from not even being on the site. But this time it's EU and Som with guns. 
who are able to take care of business. The wall is going to go up. The ult has been destroyed, and it looks like the defuse is going to stick. Renegades have to play aggressively here. I don't know that they have enough time. Randy Savage is able to get one. Give him a second. Winsome gets another one as well, trying to stick it. As there's really no other option. Randy Savage comes up huge for Renegade. But then they pull back. They've made their way back into C2. They still have something to work with here as they're going to try to funnel their way in. But the problem is, Renegades can kind of read that. Energy is holding up just fine, however, as Renegades just down to one member left. This round fell apart for Renegades. Yeah, if you have to deal with it enough times, eventually you figure out how to play against it. And so Energy, they've been forced into a lot of these five-on-five -five retake situations throughout this half. In the middle, it's going to be kind of the roles reversed, the five-on-five -five retake now for Renegades on B-Site. And here's, here's the chaos that we were talking about. They dash in, they get the spike down, and then they pull right back out, and they force them to either stick the defuse or deal with all of the utility that's being thrown at them. Renegades on the defending side are trying to push out aggressively. CP2 gets one. Give him a second. The burst classic is just too much right now as energy is forced to back up. Three on them. It's going to give energy enough room to get onto C. They're going to get the spike down. It was just ruckus caused across B, but that's where they wanted to go all along. One down. Ooh, that's huge, though. <laughs> yeah, Randy able to get one. He's going to get paranoid. Still kind of waiting it out. He's going to drop. At the end of you win some swings, but he gets three. CP2 able to fare better and stays alive just long enough. The defuse is going to come through for Renegades. They handled that so well. Their position away. 30 seconds left. They've yep. got to get the spike down. It's just now funneling onto the site. Once still doesn't use a bit of his abilities yet either. That's the biggest thing. He still has his paint shell, and he still has the boom bot that he can throw in there as well. The paint shell does land and do some significant damage to one player, but that's a great shot from EU to shut that portion of the retake down. We'll see if they're able to pull it off. It was a very similar spot to what we saw last time on, on the end of the first half. CP2 spots one. That's you certainly don't want to see that. Uh, but he is going to get cleaned up. Sam is at the hands of Fergie Retro, trying to get some more info and trying to get an. Oh my gosh! What a shot! He takes care of Infinite. Winks to the left, realizing where the other jet is. Goes to challenge him. There's a hunter Fury. He is able to get the kill. It's chopping down to a one v one, but he's got to get on the defuse fast. He got to halftime, and I don't know that he was going to get it, and he does. He shows up just in the nick of time. Yeah, not much they can hope for here, but they're going to give it an effort. Zisam waiting for that dart. That was exactly what he was waiting for. But Paranoia came out as well. Retro gets three as he slices and dices them apart. He's still alive, not able to get the other one. Unfortunately, falls to the turret of all one things. But he dropped things down to a 2v2, a 1v1. They've got the showstopper. Winsome looking to go aggressive. Didn't wait it out. Has the sheriff trying to get it to halftime. He is going to get, excuse me, to halfway, but Dash in the round, so they've got to commit to it. They're going to have to pull the trigger and do so very soon. They've managed to get their way onto the site, but the dart has given them away. Retro is able to get one. Infinite trying to get the spike down. It looks like he's going to be able to do just that. Now NRG backs off down C-Long because they know because of where it's planted, they should be able to take care of business just fine. Renegades has smokes. They've got something to work with here, but NRG also has a hunter's fury, so keep that in mind. The first smoke is going to drop. CB2 able to take care of Sam as the wall is up again, just denying information. But energy can play this so comfortably. They don't have to commit. There's the Hunter's Fury that we were talking about. CB3 trying to stick it. He was able to get it to halftime, but it doesn't matter. As NRG continues to pick them apart, Renegade's just down to Bergie. Taps, darts there. He's gonna give his position away. EU with a 3K on the round. It looks like they're committing on the FC site. Flank's still being covered, but the spike has gone down. Yeah, and Daps has, from the shadows available here, he's going to use it to get in behind defending spawn to give them another way to cut off this retake. He can backstab at any moment now and cause a ruckus. He might be able to stick this. Shanks was able to get two on the flank. He was covering that the whole time. Sam's able to get one as well. Spots another one. It's not him, but it's infinite. And then he's going to be. You hear the run back has been used. They're going to dash their way in to be. This is the classic Big. chaos play. Sam gets a huge kill on Randy Savage early on. Still has it working its way around. Not able to get another kill, but that's all right. The damage was done. You see the show's top route. Winston's going to blast his way across. Shanks goes up, and it doesn't matter as he gets taken out anyway. Winston now working his angle around. This is such a difficult spot to deal with because that's where the primary fire source comes from on this chaos play. The paranoia is going to come through. Still not tagging Winston. Sam has to go in aggressively. He flashes. He's able to get one. Just runs at the defuse, but is able to keep things at bay. Winston some still holding them back. I don't know that it's going to be there, but it Attackers is. Winsome win. is able to get